Welcome to the first of our Songs for Summer's Eve concert. It's wonderful to see you all here. We thank you for supporting the Arts Council and for supporting these fine pianists all sitting in front of us. Uh, I would like to thank every one of them. They have been here uh, donating their time and their talent, and it's uh, just a great joy to have all of them participating. I would like to call your attention to the exhibit on the walls. This is the Greater Rochester Suburban Art Group. Uh, please feel free when we are finished and we're having refreshments to take a good look at these paintings. They're really quite lovely. Upstairs, there is another members exhibit running concurrently with this. Uh, Sarah Clark and her daughter and her granddaughter are showing together upstairs. Moving right along, we need to do the regular housekeeping things. We have. I would like to introduce to you this evening the first pianist um, who will be introducing her own music. I know you are all familiar with Kathy Hendershot. We are so pleased that she is playing with us tonight. Um, there isn't much I need to say about Kathy. Her talent is just stupendous and we are so glad that she's one of our people that um, is so faithful to come and share the talent with us. Would you please welcome Kathy Hendershot. talking about, I'd like to say it's mysterious, and each movement is a totally different mood. So we'll try it.
Webster says that that is a humorously incongruous musical parody, especially of well-known melodies. It is in the pianos. And as in a debate, sometimes they speak by themselves, and at other times, when they shouldn't, they all speak at once. <laughs> so we'd like to play the six melodies for you, and it's something you get to listen for during the composition. This is our musical debate.
improvise. And then in between, I'm going to play uh, a waltz tempo against their 4 4 tempo. Mikey just loves this. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 3 4 against 4 4, and uh, then we're just going to swing it out. So. <laughs>
Hill and Dale.
Thank you.
a tangle, but I feel like I'm sticking my neck out to even try to play it because I don't have a drop of Hispanic blood or Latin blood or anything like that in me. And I think you almost have to really get it right. And I'm, I just am amazed. Latins can do things that I'm pretty sure my body doesn't even do. But, but I, you know, I really love to listen to it and watch it. And I don't know, the closest thing I've ever come is, you know. <laughs> so the history of tango is much like ragtime. Um, no, I started in some houses of ill repute, so they say, but you have to understand that in Argentina, in the late 1800s, <clears throat> there was so much immigration that the population was 70% male. So that was very sad for the males. <laughs>
would serve as money, of course, um, for vocal and accompaniment, and then he went on to instrumental later. But this is his big dash at Rag, and, it, and it's, you hardly ever hear it anymore, and because of that, hardly anybody's going to have any preconceived ideas of how it should sound. <laughs>
since I, I uh, came to work for the Arts Council, it astounded me to find how many visual artists there were within our county and then just in the surrounding area. And then when we started putting together the musical evenings to find all of the musical talent beside, it's just amazing. It is just amazing. We thank all of you. Thank you.